want to talk about a football player who, you know, had a big fat contract and he had the sky, the sun, and the moon in his backyard. And he got, uh, he was convicted yesterday of uh, murder one, and he's lucky that it's in Boston and there's no death penalty, but he'll never see the light of day again. Um, and he'll be playing a different kind of football in prison. Uh, and and uh, he, he, I'm sure he'll get tackled. But it, I would say it's one of the most uh, heinous crimes that I've seen. Um, I've, I've been following uh, this uh, trial. I've been following uh, the investigation uh, uh, of the out before it was an allegation. Now it's a fact. He's been proven uh, guilty. Um, but uh, he basically murdered an innocent uh, man because the guy, and, and uh, he was oblivious to what he did, he bumped into him and made him spill his drink. And he was... So that was yeah, that's his, another case, Frank. This, was, this guy, uh, Lloyd, who was a friend of his because of the connection with his fiancée, uh, Lloyd was going with his fiancée's sister, must have said something to somebody that uh, uh, Adrian uh, or Aaron, Hernandez had said to him, like in private, and that's why he killed him. Well, I, I think the, the other the one is, uh, on. Fernandez uh, felt that this guy disrespected him by bumping into him and making him spill his drink. He called his crew, and they they waited, and they you know the, the security camera saw this, and they shot the guy in cold blood. Now, well, I'll tell you what happened. There's the, the one that bumped him in the drink was uh, bumped his drink was in downtown Boston in a bar. And the guy bumped him, and of course Hernandez plays the role of the big shot. And the guy goes, like, "Get lost! I'm sorry, you know what the hell?" So anyway, the two guys who were drinking and one had had his drink spilled went out to their car to leave, and along comes a gray SUV uh, with Aaron Hernandez on the uh, passenger side, and he blew both of them away. Nobody, had, there was no evidence of where the car was, that somebody said like a gray car, and then when they get into this other one, the Lloyd murder, they found the car in his garage. So he's down for... But, but, but why would you flush your life down the toilet and be such a moron and take a human life because of total testosterone stupidity and destroy two lives? He destroyed the, the family... And, 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 you know, the, the poor guy's family, like, the guy just went out to have a good time. Yeah, and Frank... What to hurt anybody. Didn't think he was going to get murdered because he bumped into somebody. Yeah, and the other thing is, when he was a student at Florida State, there was a party and a man was killed, and guess who the number one suspect is? They haven't been able to pin him with it yet. Yeah, but the, but uh, he, he, he is, he's got four dead men. He didn't have enough evidence to, uh, to, to bring him to the grand jury on that one. But, you know, he comes from a history of violence. Apparently his, uh, his, his father and his uncle were uh, very tough guys. Uh, they, were, uh, uh, they were great athletes, but they were also tough guys. Yep. No, I, I don't think that his upbringing has helped him at all, and that's too bad because he had the world where he wanted it and he wanted a little bit more. But that's not wanting a little bit more, murdering somebody because you believe that they brought disrespect. I think that's a, that's sociopathic behavior. That's that's somebody who's a fucking moron. Yeah, well, that's, I'm not going to argue with that. That's an evil person. I mean, it's one thing to get yourself upset because somebody's being rude or ignorant to you, right? And and then there's another thing to just go looking for trouble. Well, and, and for everything I read is this guy was completely a sociopath. Um, very, very short wick, uh, but he could be charming, and he turned it on for the Patriots um, when they interviewed him. Uh, they, they played uh, the other night on uh, whether it was CNN and, or one of the news channels or Fox. Uh, they played uh, his interview, um, you know, in the interview of player, and he said that he would do everything never to embarrass his teammates, not to embarrass his uh Name and or, or or anything and and it kills a guy. Tony, yeah. what's your view on this? I think these. Are, I think he's a he was a very troubled individual. Was obviously affected by the loss of his father at a young age and, and clearly didn't have uh, uh, a strong male influence in his life. And when he was drafted, there were a lot of teams that backed off on him just because of the past. So this guy was a ticking time bomb. 
I don't think anybody could have seen this happening, but uh, it's very, very unfortunate. Well, was that, that Florida State story, Perry, I'm sure it was common knowledge in the football community. Yeah, I mean, there were teams that backed off on him because of when they did the profile on him, they did a psychological profile. There were, there were warning signs all over the place. Not to this extent, but these are why they interview these athletes and why they spend so much time doing background checks on them. This is the example why. Yeah, it's too bad. Like, it, it's just, it's such a waste, uh, not only of Hernandez's life and his future, but of those four others that were just blown away by someone who was abnormal. Yeah, I mean, it's easy to look at Aaron Hernandez and he's throwing away his life and all that money, but obviously the, 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 there's other people... I don't people really give a fuck that he threw his life away. I'm just trying to say there's other people that died. What is that he took another life out of, uh, out of uh, a, a, like a, a stupid rage that he has... And it's like, like the guy's not right. There's, you can't have, you can't be 100% right just to kill somebody because you felt that they disrespected you. Who the fuck is he? Well, what's interesting, and I, you know, I, I, I feel he's guilty. I think they, but they don't have an ounce of evidence other than circumstantial. And you can be assured uh, they're going to appeal the case and it'll be retrial. They'll find some way where the judge made a mistake or he did. I don't know, but. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you that this guy's done like dinner, and there's no way, uh, you know, they can appeal it and they can bring it to the top. Uh, there's no way uh, the, the trial went quick. I, I, um, the, the evi- I believe that it's not circumstantial evidence. I, 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 be- I believe the evidence is, you know, they, they, they found the um, ballistic report to match a, a gun that was in his possession. They, they found the truck. They, it, he, they put him at the scene of the crime. Uh, there's cameras. Uh, I, 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 they can appeal the shit out of it. I, I, I think he's done like dinner. Well, you, you could be, Frank. I don't, I don't know how you appeal a case. Uh, and, 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 you know, you, can, you could see that there was absolutely no remorse in this guy. Uh, like, no, that's, no, when somebody no. is a sociopath like that, they believe that at the end of, at the, end of the day they're going to come out smelling like roses. Well, and I was just going to say, I mean, the guy, is, uh, he's, an, uh, he's a thug. I mean, if you look at the history, I mean, this isn't, a, this isn't an accident. This isn't self-defense or an isolated incident. This is, you know, this guy's got a past. And how scary it is, we're not just talking about one guy that he's uh, murdered. But he, you know, this was all, like, you know, I mean, this, is, this, is, this is almost planned. I mean, the accident pouring alcohol on, it, on him and then his, just his reaction of it is it's, he's a thug. And then obviously, obviously uh, you know, had to, had to silence his uh, his sister's boyfriend and uh, uh, just because I think he knew what had gone down and uh, this is a scary guy uh, I mean you can take the, the boy out of the hood you can't take the hood out of the boy as they say no, but I think you, you, you hit the nail on the head and I think you classified him properly he's a thug yeah. he's a thug with no morals uh, he, he's a thug with absolutely no compassion for humanity other than himself and uh, you know he, caught, he ruined the lives of all the guys around him because they're, they're, they're all going to jail too that's complete disregard for the law. I mean, when you start killing people because uh, they run into you with a drink, I mean, you, you just say, they won't catch me. I'm, well, the guy that got killed called him NFL. So when you call a guy NFL, you know that he talks at constant pace about the fact that he's in the NFL. And that was the, the pseudonym he pinned on him, and that was part of the evidence that was presented from his, his, his fiance or the sister of Hernandez's fiance when he said NFL is here. The NFL was Hernandez who was bigger than the law. And uh, I, I, I don't think he's normal. I mean, I think you take a look at the, the close-ups uh, during the trial and you take a look at, uh, uh, you know, his, his, you know, most sociopaths can uh, turn it on or in a split second they can, I don't know if you guys watched the movie Misery, some great scenes with James Caan and Kathy Bates where she's sweet and taking care of him, and then in the split second, she, she beat the rage, and that's what's in a sociopath. And this guy, I think that the, the, the only, yesterday when they read out the verdict, he was looking at the jury like he wanted to kill all of them. Well, he, he mouthed the words, the jury got it wrong, did he not? <laughs> like, that's how, that's how nuts it is. Yeah, well... He's a, he's well, they got it wrong because they, they weren't, they, the jury was very smart. They didn't get, the, they, didn't, they didn't swallow that bullshit that the defense uh, tried to, uh, listen, 
12 people in the United States and in Canada and in, in, in Democratic country, 12 of your peers have judged you. And in and, 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 and the criminal proceedings, uh, uh, which is way different than a, a civil lawsuit, um, is beyond a reasonable doubt. So they really look at everything. And if there's one shred of doubt, one shred of doubt, the guy's not going to be convicted, even if it's the most small, minute thing. But it was unanimous, and all 12 of them picked it. You know, and, and it's too bad that there's no death sentence in, in Boston.